I didn't run at all uh, until about 10 years ago. I was a basketball player. Um, I was into fishing and hiking. Uh, and then I started getting burnt out from coaching basketball. It's really, really like time consuming. And I'm a teacher, and so I wanted to stay involved with the kids and like be still like do something at school, but I didn't want to coach basketball anymore. So the cross country uh, and track and field coach asked me, he's like, hey, we could use another runner. And I said, yeah, no problem. Like, I play basketball three nights a week. This won't be a problem at all. And I went out and I ran with the kids and I made it about 10 minutes. And I had my hands on my knees and I just said to them, I go, you guys go, you guys go do a circle, come back and I'll be fine. And uh, so then I started thinking, if I'm gonna help out with cross country, like I have to be able to run. <laughs> so I started running a little bit. I signed up for that half marathon, I raised the money, I ran it, and partway through the race, something snapped where I just fell in love with it. And I finished that race, signed up for my first marathon, and I've just been maybe obsessed since. <laughs> It's like listening to a really good song that you just, you get sucked into it and you're, there's a rhythm to it. There's a, there's a certain el element of your mind wandering and long distance running uh, that I love where you don't know where your mind is gonna take you. It forces you to become resilient. You know, you have, in order to get where you wanna go, you have to go through some things. And so like, that's another thing I love about it is that it just, pushes you, your mind and your body to, to overcome. The nervous energy of competition can be really fun. You know, uh, and when you get into it, like an, when you feel like you're in a race, like it's it's frightening and exciting and all of that at once. The first time I did the 50k here back in 2018, it took me five five and a half hours. And that was way harder mentally than the 10 or 11 because the trails are so rugged and rooty and filled with rocks. If you're not focused on the ground for the entire time, you're gonna fall. Your feet are gonna trip on a rock or a root and you're going down. And I've gone down and it hurts. My primary goal is to, to manage my pace and my nutrition well enough so that when I hit that 40K mark, I don't feel like garbage. And I don't feel like, like a now I have 10K of just absolute suffering left to go. I can't control where I finish, but I can control my own race and, and how I feel through the day, so that's what I'm going to focus on. Being in nature, breathing the fresh air, I find that it can, al can almost be meditative, and I just find that all my stress is released uh, when I'm outside running. Especially with trail running, because you have to focus on the ground, you have to watch out for roots or rocks. It's like you're focusing on something else, so anything else that's going on in your life, you tend to leave that behind, and if I start the run feeling stressed, I know by the end of my run that I feel like I'm decompressed. It's like I can just kind of let everything go. 
city running, uh, you're often, you know, running on the pavement. It's much harder on the body. Where, whereas when you're out on the trails, your feet are connecting with the ground. You're connecting with the earth. Uh, you're breathing the fresh air. There's almost almost a sense of peace when you're out on the trails. It's much more comforting. I feel like I can, it's more relaxing. You don't need a lot of equipment. It's easy access if you wanted to run from your house or if you wanted to go to the trails here at Centennial or uh, you could go to the Sleeping Giant, Giant or the Norwester trails and also do some running. So it's fairly easy to access and easy to do. It's about enjoying the experience and getting out there and getting motivated to be active. I feel like there is a trail running uh, community with Upriver Running, they've created these races. I feel like up river running is very supportive of all runners of all abilities and they're very encouraging to new runners or if you've been running a long time and I feel like there's a great sense of community with like-minded individuals. If I'm able to finish the race and feel good, like that, that's uh, that's winning for me. I think the beginning of my whole running experience was really with training for the 10 mile road race. I took part in a training group, which was really well supported and was an amazing part of like a Thunder Bay community that I had no idea existed. People pushed each other, people supported each other. Uh, and it, it allowed me to kind of enter into the sport in maybe a less competitive way, in a more attainable way. It showed me a whole other community that existed in Thunder Bay that I had no idea about, that was really authentic, that was committed to fitness and exercise, getting outside and enjoying just the sport of running. Trail running definitely compared to road running is a totally different class on its own. There's a whole other layer of footwork that's required, which keeps you, I think, like more alert and more in the game and taking in kind of all that's around you. You can't just kind of shut off and just let your legs move. You know, it doesn't matter if I'm doing five or 10K, 
I think that, you know, the beginning part of my run is always like chilling out and, you know, getting my mindsets into where it needs to be, like throwing away the garbage that might be jumbling around in my head um, and pushing through kind of where I want to go, where I want my mindset to be. And so my breath and my breathing might be really intense, I think, at the beginning, maybe because, you know, inside I might be a little nervous. I might, you know, depending on where the day is, where my emotions are. Once that first 3K is under your belt, then that's when the groove sets in and you can really feel your body starting to work at its best. Thank you to those who've been with us from the start. Thank you to those who've joined us along the way. And thank you to those who are running with Upper River for the first time today. We appreciate you all. If I get lost. If I get lost. If I get lost. Hurt. Hurt. Or die. Or die. <laughs> it's my own damn fault. It's my own damn fault. <laughs> I still think that running 10K for me as, as in my fitness level is still a challenge. It requires a certain level of, yeah, positive mindsets. I'm really ex excited, truthfully, uh, to be just part of the event. Uh, Thunder Bay hasn't had any running events for a really long time that have been in person. It's taking place uh, in Centennial through like a variety of trails that are just amazing and incredible, especially during the fall season. I feel that the whole purpose of me doing this race is not necessarily for a time. It's really for an experience. Uh, I turned 40 last year and because of COVID, there wasn't a lot of different kind of, you know, out there goals that I could set for myself. So I feel like this is an opportunity for me to meet a goal going into my 40th year. I really just want to finish, and I want to finish strong. I want to finish uninjured. And I want to finish with a smile on my face and maybe connect with other people that I know in the community that are also running the race. I read a book once where someone described described running as, as like every run has its own rhythm and uh, like its own little pattern. And so it's kind of hard to describe the feeling of it because it's always going to be slightly different depending on where you are, what you're doing, what's going on with you that day. But the best thing is when you get to that flow where you're just kind of like going along and, and feeling the, the breath and, and uh, the air and looking around, yeah. Yeah, so I did it. I found uh, some good friends to join up with, uh, made my goal a little bit over, but I'm really proud of myself.
Did you get your time? <laughs>